good morning um, so I started my day very early and I'm heading back to St. Peter's Square where <clears throat> I heard there would be a uh, Papal Odin's or something so I'm gonna check about that so I've just got inside St. Peter's Square and uh, there's another queue that I'll need to uh, go. So I probably could have a good seat. Uh, there are still a lot of good seats here. Santa Maria del Carmine in Bonopoli. Santo Stefano in Baiano. Sant'Antonio in Lavello. L'acqua però può essere anche causa di morte quando sommerso tra i suoi flutti o in grande quantità travolge ogni cosa. Infine, l'acqua ha la capacità di lavare, pulire e purificare. A partire di questo simbolismo naturale, universalmente riconosciuto, la Bibbia descrive gli interventi e le promesse di Dio attraverso il segno dell'acqua. Tuttavia, il potere di rimettere i peccati non sta nell'acqua, il compromesso che si c'era in quel giorno, nel modo che vivano sempre immersi e nell'amore di Dio Padre, Hijo e Spirito Santo. Muchas gracias. So the Papal audience had just ended for like an hour ago and I think I'll be going to the St. Peter's Basilica so, so I'm in the first of the line here going to St. Peter's Basilica so it's quite a lot. So we are being led by two police guys inside. Sorry. Those women. So I just passed the security and I was a bit worried because I have a tripod in my bag and I thought they weren't gonna let me in but yeah. So this is St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, or should I say Vatican? I still do not understand how those places are divided, but I know that Vatican is an independent state. Yeah. So this is... 
how the entrance looks like. Just got out of uh, the tomb of popes. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to take some photos or videos inside. So, yeah, it was really awesome. So, that door is the vault where the late Pope John Paul II. Or Pope John Paul II's tomb is located at. So I didn't mention earlier that today is my last day here in Rome and I'm really I'm quite happy. So I'm on a place called Romoli Park which is somewhere near uh, Piazza Navona. So they got a lot of food pasta and pizza with really good prices so, yeah. so I'm back here in Piazza Navona after having some lunch in a very good restaurant so yes I'm heading to Trevi Fountain to see how it looks during this time of the day because when I arrived it was already getting dark so I only had the chance to see its night view. Oh so, yeah. This is Piazza Novona. I think one of my favorite places here in Rome. This is Fiumi Fountain. Yeah, I just decided to pass Pantheon, but so I'm here in the Pantheon. So the Pantheon is uh, like a place that has a collection of tombs of the past kings and queens of Italy. So I hope I'm right. <laughs> I'm back here in the Chubby Mountain. And unlike the first time I went here, they do not allow people to go. Right? 
Um, it's been a while. I think it looks better like this. So I've just arrived in my hotel and my second and last day here in Rome has just ended I guess. I don't really have plans to go out and I'll be preparing my luggage for tomorrow because my flight is 6 in the morning. No, it's 9. But I need to go to the airport because it is 6 or 7 so yeah. So this is my room. There's a simple bed with desk and a window. And this is the toilet. Yeah. And the shower. I kinda like how simple and basic it is. So yeah. What I like about this hotel is it's just a few steps away from the train station, so everything is accessible, so yeah. Feliz